You're watching New Orleans Saints now. I am Tom Downey, and I regret to report that we are losing the like race here at Chat Sports. Not only is Saints now behind, behind the Browns report, which with only a couple of days until the end of the month, I have little hope of us catching them. We're also barely behind our Minnesota Vikings channel, and that's dumb because they're not even good. So help us out. Let's catch the Vikings, get producer Trace just a little bit of a bonus this month. Like the video right now. Today's video is look at five surprise cut candidates based on the ESPN 53-man roster projection. Some notable names who were left off that roster projection by ESPN. We'll go offense to defense, beginning with one of the more popular undrafted free agents for the Saints. That is tight end Lucas Kroll out of Pitt, who I thought had a very real chance of being drafted this year. Ended up not being the case. He has impressed at practices, at OTAs, at mini camps, and given the Let's call it what it was, bad, tight end play out of the Saints organization last year. There is at least a sliver of an opening for Kroll to make his way onto the roster. Here's what ESPN has projected at the tight end position. Taysom Hill, who will go more in depth on him in a second. Adam Trotman, who I am not out on as this finally being the breakout year, but little bit worried he's more in the Adam Shaheen mold than he is in, you know, a good tight end mold in the NFL. Nick Vanette, who's just kind of a blocker in the end. And Jawan Johnson, who's got some red zone ability. We'll spend some more time on him momentarily as well. I could see this scenario, though, whether the Titans carry four or even more tight ends. Remember, Taysom Hill is the gadget player. He does special teams, H-back, tight end, running back, quarterback. The Saints in this projection carried three quarterbacks, including Ian Book. They could go light at quarterback if they are convinced that Winston and Andy Dalton is all they need short-term and maybe long-term at the position. Try to stash Book on the practice squad, maybe a little bit risky. But because Hill can play quarterback in a pinch, they've at least got some flexibility on that standpoint. Juwan Johnson, meanwhile, is, well, he's got a great reception to touchdown ratio. The former Oregon receiver converted to tight end, but is not developed yet as a blocker that will certainly take a little bit more time now if you want an updated Ross projection from us here at chat sports show it by liking the video training camp Roughly a little bit less than a month away, and we can do a new roster projection for you guys if you want that. All you have to do by, by doing it is just like the video right now. Running back Tony Jones might be the biggest surprise cut candidate on this entire list, given all of the hype that was around him this time last year. Trace, I've not forgotten how excited you were about Tony Jones, and it uh, it was great in the preseason, but didn't really carry over. Now, what's worth mentioning here is that ESPN did not project a suspension for Alvin Kamara, so they did not cheat the numbers. They went with four running backs in the end. Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram, Dwayne Washington, and UDFA Abram Smith out of Baylor, who I actually like a pretty good amount with his special teams value, but you're carrying two special teamers at running back in Dwayne Washington and Smith. I'm not sure you need both of them. Now, Maybe Tony Jones was Sean Payton's guy, and now that Payton's gone, it's just not the route they need to go. It's going to be very curious how things play out for Jones' this upcoming year, who did not have the best production uh, from an average per carry perspective, averaging under three yards per carry for the Saints. Jones has some ability, but there is plenty of room to grow, and I'm still surprised he was on the cut candidate list, given he was RB2 until they added Mark Ingram last year. So what do you think? Will Tony Jones make the Saints roster? Y for yes or N for no? This is going to be the pinned comments on today's video. So if the ad break happens to come here on YouTube, it's perfect timing. Take advantage of it. Head down to that pinned comment and type your Y for yes or your N for no. Andrew Dow next up here, the linebacker for the Saints. He's been a member of the organization for years, the past three years, mainly contributing on special teams. But there is a sudden swell of depth at the linebacker position. He had 14 special teams tackles last year, including five against the Bucs in Week 15. Because remember, the Saints own the Tom Brady Bucks since he joined the, that organization. Here's what the ESPN went with, with the five linebackers on the roster. Demario Davis, Pete Warner, Caden Ellis, 
Zach Bond, who is playing the Rutgers, needs an edge, but the Saints don't get that yet. One day they will. DeMarco Jackson, who I am excited about as a rookie out of Appalachian State. So in addition to Dow, they also cut Eric Wilson, the recent-ish free agent pickup has bounced around the NFL, Houston, Philadelphia, Minnesota. Actually put up pretty decent numbers from a tackle perspective. And we would be remiss not to mention the fact that Quan Alexander is still unsigned. And given the way things went last year, you could certainly see a scenario where the Saints bring back Quan Alexander. But that's we just mentioned eight linebackers, all of whom have a real shot of making the roster. So you see the numbers game that is starting to emerge at the position. It doesn't quite add up for the Saints. Folks, we are not that far away from 7,500 subscribers here on New Orleans Saints now. If you want more Saints videos, mostly from Trace and Will, but Will's out today, I'm subbing in. Well, then subscribe. All you have to do is hit that big red button right now. Next up is Malcolm Roach, the defensive tackle for the Saints. He was the next surprise cut candidate. He was a UDFA out of Texas in 2020. He has provided pretty valuable depth over the past couple years as a defensive lineman that, or for a defensive lineman that rotates a lot of different players. They are unafraid of mixing it up and shuffling out, especially on the interior of that defensive line. He even started two games last year. Were injuries a part of that? Absolutely, but it was still two starts. More on Roach coming up in a second, but first, hey, folks, this deal is not going to last forever. The two t-shirt combo pack, 40% off, 30 bucks in total, is available at chatsports.com slash saints shirt. This combo deal typically sells out very quickly. I think Fanatics has stocked it better in recent years, but go get yours today. Chatsports.com slash Saints t-shirt. I might have misspoke earlier. Saints t-shirt. 40% off and uh, at that link, it'll be in the comment section and in the description of today's video. It's the best deal out there. Chatsports.com slash Saints t-shirt. Roach didn't do that much last year. Ten tackles, one interception, which is a pretty cool play. Zero tackles for loss. But the room at the, at the defensive tackle position is a bit interesting in terms of what ESPN projected there. David Onimata, of course, is on that list. That should surprise absolutely nobody. Shai Tuttle, who I like quite a bit as a piece overall, is there. Contavious Street, the free agency pickup recently, and Jordan Jackson out of Air Force. That's still pretty thin. Uh, I could see the Saints going deeper at defensive tackle, maybe carrying five guys, but I was surprised to see Roach not make the team. Let's move to defensive end now. Taco Charlton, the Cowboys' legendary bust, was a first-round pick back in 2017 and has not been all that great at all in the NFL. He has bounced around the NFL, played for the Cowboys, then the Dolphins, the Chiefs, the Steelers, and although he flashed with some deceptive sack numbers in Miami, he's never been that productive in his career in the NFL. He joined the Steelers last year and put up a whopping half sack. So big-time name, elite name, like I... This kind of ruins my name theory that if your name is cool, you're going to have a great NFL career. His first name is Taco, and he's been a bust. So maybe it's only limited to getting to the NFL for, for my name theory. But the Saints did go with five edge rushers here on this projection. Cameron Jordan was on there, Marcus Davenport, Peyton Turner, Fano Passigno, and Carl Granderson. No real surprises on that standpoint. Although I will make note of one more defensive lineman in general that they did cut. Jaleel Johnson on this projection did not make the team. He's flashed at points in his career with both Minnesota and with Houston. I would not be surprised if Roach and Johnson are both prime potential practice squad candidates if they do end up not making the 53-man roster. So let's recap here. The five surprise cut candidates. Lucas Kroll, the tight end. Tony Jones Jr., the running back. Andrew Dow, the three-year vet for the Saints at linebacker, Malcolm Roach at defensive tackle, and Taco Charlton, the former first-round pick in there at defensive end. So of those five names, which surprised you guys the most? Let me know in the comment section which player you really thought would make the team, on the projection at least, that was left off ESPN's list. 